Google recently launched its Amazon Echo competitor, the Google Home. The smart speaker packs in Google Assistant, and as we have seen in our video on Google Assistant vs Siri, it's a pretty good AI. So we decided to pitch the Google Home against the Amazon Echo and see what they're capable of. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video we are going to put the Google Home and the Amazon Echo to the test. So let's see who performs better. Let's start off with a couple of basic requests and commands that we commonly use. I'm pretty sure both of our contestants will perform equally well here. Alexa, what's the weather like? I couldn't find a forecast for that location. Okay Google, what's the weather like? In New Delhi it's 17 degrees Celsius with fog. The forecast tonight is 15 and mostly cloudy. Oh yeah, we're not in the US and the Echo doesn't like addresses that are outside the states. Let's frame our request differently. Alexa, what's the weather like in New Delhi? In Delhi, India, it's 17 degrees with fog. Tonight's forecast calls for more of the same, with a low of 10 degrees. Ok Google, what's the weather like in New Delhi? Currently in New Delhi, it's 17 degrees Celsius with fog. Tonight, it's predicted to be 16 and cloudy. So while Amazon Echo can get the weather for cities in India, it seems to not want to do that unless specifically asked for it. Google Home on the other hand works just fine either way. Alexa, how many inches in a meter? One meter equals 39.37 inches. Ok Google, how many inches in a meter? One meter equals 39.37 inches. Both the devices could perform this conversion which is not really surprising. Alexa. Take a note. What can I add for you? Take pictures. I've put take pictures on your to-do list. Ok Google, take a note. Sorry, I can't take notes yet. So the Echo added the note to my to-do list, which I find weird, but it's still better than home, which just didn't want to do anything about it. And that's when Google has a note-taking service and the app is even installed on my phone. I find it disappointing to say the least. Alexa, toss a coin. Flipping. It's heads. Ok Google, toss a coin. Ok. You got heads. Alexa, roll a dice. I rolled a die and got six. Ok Google, roll a dice. You got it. It's a four. Pretty basic commands both of them and both of our smart assistants were able to handle it perfectly fine. Let's move on. Apart from being great assistants, the Amazon Echo and the Google Home are also pretty great speakers. Which means that while they won't replace your dedicated audio setup, they are more than capable of entertaining us with music. Let's try out a couple of commands and get the beat going. Alexa, play Starboy. I can't find the song Starboy. Ok Google, play Starboy. Alright, Starboy by the weekend, playing on Spotify. Alexa, play Starboy on Spotify. Starboy by the weekend from Spotify. Okay Google, play Starboy on Spotify. Alright, Starboy by the weekend. Here it is on Spotify. While Google could easily figure out the song I requested, Echo only worked when I specified where I wanted it to look for the song. This is probably because Google Home lets you choose your default media player between Google Play Music, YouTube Red, Spotify and Pandora. The Echo supports Spotify and Pandora, but while you can choose the default, even when the default is set to Spotify, somehow the Amazon Echo does not want to look there. Which means that we'll have to specify it every time. Either that or you use Amazon's music streaming service. So yeah, Alexa, play ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio on TuneIn. Ok Google, play ESPN Radio. Alright, ESPN Radio from the ESPN Network, playing on TuneIn. Google's AI has been far superior than any other AI assistant I have yet seen. And now that we have the Google Assistant in a smart speaker, I really want to put it up against its competition. So let's check some context-based questions. Alexa, who is Roger Federer? 
Roger Federer is a Swiss professional tennis player who is currently ranked world number 16 by the Association of Tennis Professionals. Okay Google, who is Roger Federer? According to Wikipedia, Roger Federer is a Swiss professional tennis player who is currently ranked world number 16 by the Association of Tennis Professionals. Alexa, who is he married to? Sorry, I don't know the answer. Okay Google, who is he married to? He's been married to Mirka Federer since 2009. Okay, so the echo doesn't understand context. Google Home, however, does. Let's take this a little further. Okay Google, when did they get married? Roger Federer was married to Mirka Federer on April 11th, 2009. Google is still completely aware of what I'm talking about, which is pretty great. Since Echo doesn't understand context, it does a weird thing sometimes. Check this out. Alexa, 5 multiplied by 5. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. Okay Google, 5 multiplied by 5. 5 by 5 is 25. Alexa, add 5. I added 5 to your shopping list. Okay Google, add 5. The answer is 30. See what happened? Google Home was able to recognize the context and it added 5 to the result, which is exactly what we wanted. But Echo, since it doesn't understand context, treated it as a separate command and, well, you've seen the rest. Anyway, coming back to the capabilities of these devices, let's carry on. Alexa, track my package. I didn't find any open orders for Akshay. Okay Google, track my package. I can't do that yet. I really thought Google might work since it has been tracking packages from our emails, but it doesn't. Echo on the other hand can track only packages from Amazon, but it's still one more than Google. Alexa, translate hello how are you to Spanish. I can't pronounce that but I've written the translation for you. Ok Google, translate hello how are you to Spanish. Hola como estas? While Echo is clearly able to translate speech between languages, it isn't able to speak it out. Not yet at least. Google Home on the other hand is much better in my opinion, as it can even speak the translated text out loud. I mean, why would I ask Echo to translate something for me if I have to look up the result on my mobile? I could just run a search on the mobile then. That was quite a lot of serious work. Let's try kicking back and do something fun now. Alexa, what do you think about Google Home? I'm partial to all AIs. Ok Google, what do you think about Amazon Echo? It'd be nice if my home was as tall as Alexa's. I'm not complaining though, I like how cozy this is. They both seem to prefer playing nice, don't they? I'm not one to make AIs begin to dislike each other that could lead to all sorts of apocalyptic situations. So let's just leave them be. Alexa, I wanna play a game. I can play rock paper, scissors, and I can learn others, including quiz games, if you enable those skills in the Alexa app. Ok Google, I wanna play a game. We can play Lucky Trivia, Mad Libs, her crystal ball. What do you wanna try? It's quite obvious that right out of the box, Google Home supports a lot more games than Echo does. However, there are a lot of skills for the Echo that can add to this functionality. This one is a very Google easter egg. Ok Google, I'm feeling lucky. Sweet! Ok, when the music starts, things might get a little weird. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? It's a rhetorical question. It's also the name of this game. <laughs> Google Home definitely knows how to put on a show, doesn't it? Alexa, where's Santa right now? I hope he's taking a nice long nap. He sure deserves one. Ok Google, where's Santa right now? Santa is shoveling snow. He's already back home at the North Pole. Alexa, say the alphabet backwards. Hmm, I'm not sure what you meant by that question. Ok Google, say the alphabet backwards. Okay, Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R. Both the Google Home and the Amazon Echo come with IFTTT integration. 
However, the Echo's integration only works in the US and the UK. Google Home on the other hand simply works. Let's check it out. Alexa, I'm here. Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Okay Google, I'm here. Welcome. Like I said, Google Home works quite easily with IPTT, but Echo currently does not support any other countries. Well, the Google Home worked as expected, but so did the Amazon Echo. The only reason for this to happen was that I used a VPN and connected to a US server. How about having some fun with our assistants? We figured out a cool way to have these assistants constantly talk to each other. Let's check it out. Alexa, what's on my to-do list? You have one to do. Okay, Google, what's on my shopping list? Your shopping list has just one item. Alexa, what's on my to-do list? You have one to do. I would let them go on, but they're getting on my nerves. On my so let's list? get them to stop now. There's just one okay, item Google, on your shopping list. Stop. Alexa, what's on my? Well, it's quite obvious that while both of these smart speakers are great devices, Google Home has the edge in most situations. I do, however, dislike that Google Home does not support a to-do list. At least not yet. However, with IFTT integration, I can just integrate Google Home with Todoist and get that working for me. As for the speaker quality, that is very subjective. Personally, I like the deeper bass, and the Google Home is the clear winner there. However, the Echo has a much louder and clearer treble. So yeah, they're both good. Personally, I would take the Google Home over the Amazon Echo, but it's completely a matter of personal preference. So that was it guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more cool tech videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.